We are going to learn about the art of Barbara Kobolinska. She is a sculptor who creates large, colorful ceramic birds, bugs, and flowers in a fun, abstract way. Most of her work is full of bright colors and patterns. We will be creating our own bird sculpture in her style of art. First, we will be making an armature as a base for our sculpture. You'll need a bottle, a toilet paper roll, some foil, and some tape. Your bottle should have just a little bit of liquid in it. The liquid will help stabilize it and keep it from tipping over while you're making your sculpture. Once you have your water and your bottle and the lid is on tight, cut the tube down the side. The tube is a little bit too big for the neck, so we need to make it a little bit smaller. Fit it on the top of your bottle and overlap the tube so that it gets smaller towards the top and fatter at the bottom. Use your tape to help hold the tube together and to connect the tube to the bottle itself. You'll need four or five pieces for this part of the project. Put it on this, each piece of tape on the side of the table for later. Hold the tube where you want it as you tape. First tape the top and then tape it diagonally to connect the tube to the bottle. Put a couple pieces of tape there so that it doesn't fall off. Make sure the tape is very secure to the bottle. Once you've done that, take your foil and loosely crumple one of the pieces. Don't crumple it too tight because you can't uncrinkle it. Crinkle it just a little bit and then take your next piece and add it to that one, making the long neck for your bird. Again, loosely crumple it. Don't crumple it super tight yet. You want to start off loose and then crinkle it more as you see fit. Make a duck bill sort of shape with the foil. Fit the neck into the tube. It may take a couple of tries to get it right. Once it fits and it looks the way you want it to, take a couple more pieces of tape and diagonally attach the tape around the head itself and make it connect to the tube. Make sure you press down the tape firmly so that it's not sticking up at all. You want it to be flat with the form of the bird. Once everything is connected and it's not falling off, the next thing you need to do is take a Sharpie and write your name on the bottom of the bottle. Don't forget to also write your class on the bottom as well. Once your armature is formed, it's time for paper mache. Your first layer will be newspaper with the print on it. The newspaper will help make a shell around your armature to make it easier to paint and it will harden around it. Save the blank newsprint for the top layer so that we have a clean white surface to paint. Make sure you have something covering your table because this part can get messy. Use two fingers to spread the paper mache on the top and the bottom of each piece. If your paper is dripping when you apply the paper mache, then you're using way too much. Make sure that it's just wet enough 
so that it will mold to the shape of your bird. Remember, make sure you use an ample amount on the top and on the bottom of each piece. Make sure it's completely covered with the paper mache. Overlap your pieces and make sure you press and form each individual piece to the shape of the bottle. Start at the base, covering it with all the paper mache, and work your way up the bird to its head. Make sure you cover the entire bird and there should be no bottle, tape, cardboard, or foil showing when you're all finished with the first layer of paper mache. Once you've completely covered your entire bird with the newspaper, now it's time to use the plain newsprint. Whether it's gray or beige, it should be all a uniform color, but it's made out of the same paper that newspaper is made out of. Make sure that you coat it just like you did the newspaper, but it's going to leave your bird with a blank canvas to paint on and it's gonna make your bird extra sturdy for when we go to paint it. The paper mache will help create a shell on the outside of your project. Again, there should be no newspaper showing after you put all of these pieces of newsprint on your bird.
Once you get to the top of the head, you might have to rip your pieces and make them smaller so that you can form them to the shape of the head. If the pieces are too big, it might not fit around the head and it might not form as well and you'll have pieces or corners sticking off. So you might want to make your strips a little bit smaller just by ripping them in half. Sometimes what I like to do is when I'm all done covering the bird, I take and I use my fingers to help pet any of the corners or edges down of the paper. This will make your bird nice and smooth and easier to paint later on. The smoother your bird is, the better it will be. You can even take a little extra paper mache on your fingers and help really push down any of those pieces and help really mold everything to the form.